piece and and uh and the whole matrix of the whole thing. Okay. So uh okay. and the birds sort of give like a sense of freedom. This hand is holding the birds and it's just like letting the birds fly out of the hand and go into into the uh into the universe. Okay. Okay. Herman Taylor, we have a piece here. Um, can you um, give the audience a brief description of what influenced it um, and um, the price and, and um, whatever else you want to say about this piece? Okay. Uh, yeah, this, this piece of work uh, is from 1977. This is, in fact, this is the second oil painting that I actually created. And uh, 1977 is the year that I decided to start hanging on to my work instead of just doing it and giving it away, putting it to the side. But yeah, this is uh, the title of this particular piece of work is called uh, a Portrait of an Artist. It doesn't just look like someone's face of an artist, but uh, what I'm actually representing there is several different shapes of, uh, of faces. And uh, the reason that this is called Portrait of an Artist is because, uh, to me, I think uh, artists are sort of like visionaries, mm -hmm. uh, whether they be singers, uh, writers of music, or players of instruments and that sort of thing. So uh, this Portrait of an Artist is uh, <laughs> these, two these two red dots are like actually eyes. And what I said about... Being a vision is that an artist tend to, he can see things or she can see things from the outside to the inside of how things work uh, spiritually and mentally and, and so forth or culturally. At least that's my take on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, um, the title again, Portrait of an Artist, this is me, the artist. I'm projecting myself into my future and... What the, the, well, you know, like there's sort of like all these lines of things. That's sort of like the, the maze of what you don't know about what you're looking at or where you're headed to and so forth. Exactly. All right. <laughs> so this right here is like uh, this is supposed to be uh, an image of a, a male and a female. And they're like running into like an abyss of some sort. And inside this abyss is like seven year cycles. So this is me projecting myself into every seven years of where I thought I was going to be at in my life in terms of being an artist. Right. That makes right. any sense. Yes, yes um, it does. And then just the bird and stuff. This is just sort of like the white bird with the, uh, I forget what you call these things right here. Dove? The, yeah, the dove with the little, the, the peace symbol there. Mm -hmm. This is just like supposed to be the peace and, and, uh, and the whole matrix of the whole thing. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, and the birds sort of give like a sense of freedom. This hand is holding the birds, and it's just like letting the birds fly out of the hand and go into into the uh, into the universe. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so now, is this piece for sale? It's for no. It's not. It's not for sale. Okay. okay. This piece of work right here, I almost said yes, and sorry about that. This piece of work, if I did sell it, it would be by bid only. Okay. And I'd have someone bid on the piece of work. And I'd actually started at uh, some place. You know, like we said earlier in the conversation, it's kind of hard how you attach, you know, monetary value to a piece of artwork. Okay. Yeah, it, some people it could be ridiculous, but for a person that, you know, that collects art, different type types of art, it might not be a big thing at all. But this piece of work would be something that I would just hang on to unless somebody wanted to bid for it, and and uh, then I'd let it go like that. Okay. Now. Um Explain to the audience the type of materials that you use to uh, Well, in this particular work, this is uh, oil and acrylics uh, on canvas. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I do, some artists, is they treat the canvas in, in uh, different kind of ways before they actually paint onto it. Mm -hmm. I actually drew these images that you see on there. I drew that onto there other than for the paint strokes themselves. 
but I just paint it right onto the raw canvas. Okay. And that's what I like to do. It to me, I get a get a kind of an effect that that seems to work okay for me. Okay. Nice, nice piece. A lot, a lot of history. 1977. Yeah, thank you. Wow. All right. Well, thank you, Herman. Thank we you very much. It. Thank you. All right. Go ahead. Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing specializes in custom framing, printing on canvas, and selling contemporary and African-American art, all housed in our 3,000 square foot art gallery. We are centrally located in Milwaukee at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. We recognize local artists and strive to connect local talent with the community. We're asking for your support. Contact us to find out how you can help sponsor the work we're doing to highlight local artists in our community. So we're back with Herman Taylor, um, Milwaukee local artist. So Herman Taylor, um, can you explain to us this piece that we see here and what inspired it? Uh, this piece of work is called Homeless Face and um, it probably could have had a different name but just Homeless Face kind of narrowed it down. And this is actually an image of a homeless person that I met on the street. Uh, and uh, Was that here in Milwaukee? Here in Milwaukee. And it was just something about the way I was, I was impacted by that experience and what it looked like. I just couldn't shake it from my mind. So uh, I decided that I would recreate it. And this is a recreation right out of, uh, out of, out of recall. Yeah, I, I said earlier, like, I'm not actually a, a portrait artist, but I, I could be a picture portrait artist if there's such a term but nevertheless this was like right out of right out of recall this is a homeless person and, and uh, the homeless face what I was trying to do there is just capture that feeling of what it looked like with, no you can't tell what it feels and look like but just the appearance and what it feels like to be uh, in that position or that status you know, in life. And uh, this is the way it came out. Uh, to me, when I turned the lights out, put dim lights on out and look on in the house was just on the picture, it seems like, you know, like some of the colors are moving in the picture. And if you walk right up on the picture and you look at where it's really dark, you can see that there's a lot of other colors that are just pressed together uh, in that area, and uh, when you're looking at it, depending on what kind of light you got, it just give off a, uh, a really, uh, I'm not going to say unusual feeling, but you just get some kind of feeling from it. Okay. Now, this is a depiction of a homeless man here in Milwaukee. Woman. 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 Oh, yes. sorry. Yes. Um, now, when you when you had the encounter with this woman, did you take a picture of her or the or did, did did her image I actually did stayed in it stayed in your I actually your did. Mind? I, I actually took a picture on my cell phone. Okay. And I actually I asked it would be okay for me to uh uh when I approached the person I stated that I'm a local artist and that uh you know I'd like to recreate, you know, her image if she didn't mind. And she said take the picture. So I took a picture. And um, you know, it was pretty much the encounter, you know, just some a brief exchange, nothing, you know, like how she could follow with me, I could follow up with her. Never seen her again, unfortunately. Wow. Wow. It would be amazing if you if would show and it would be able to show her this. Yes, it would. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again, Mr. Taylor. Like I said before, we appreciate you and we support you as a local artist here. Yeah, I appreciate you too. Thanks for the support. All right. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. The 
Artist Connection podcast was generated from many conversations with local artists around the lack of opportunity to showcase their talent. Here at Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, we recognize our local talent and strive to connect artists with the community. Please enjoy this opportunity to hear from local artists and learn more about what inspires their work.